try to hit the wall with a car. And I remember mm-hmm. him telling me this, and I'm like, well, why didn't you report it? You know, because, you know, he just was like, you know, he just, he just was, he just didn't report it. And, yeah. uh, and, uh, so, you know, that's, I think that's why the, the situation escalated is because of the boyfriend that the baby mother was with at the time. And I think that he, they had, he basically is the one that started it. And Jackie, you know, having her feelings, her hatred for Reese or Tawab, that's what made the situation, you know, escalate. Escalate. What, what, was the situation, was he a, a jealous situation? Was it, you know, was he, was that the issue? Jealousy, she, he wanted her back? Or, because my understanding, this was a routine. He used to go there every uh, every Saturday to pick up his daughter, correct? Correct. He, he had no jealousy whatsoever for that man. All he wanted to do was get his daughter. He didn't even really too much even like Jackie, like at mm-hmm. all. You know, he he still he told me he still has love for her, but he couldn't be with her because of the, how wicked she was and how she was always, you know, trying to find an excuse to not follow the scripture. Mm-hmm. You know, so he really didn't, you know what I'm saying? And, he really and, didn't. And, and, and that was, and how long did they separate it? They've been separated for almost about a year and probably like I'd say a year and uh, about two months, a year and ten months because so she came into the troop been, with him. So yeah, so it's been like over a year. They've been they've been uh, they they you know as, as the scripture always uh, the scripture says that I came to bring separation, not unity. When Christ says I came to bring a sword, not not you know not peace, and it's mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's it comes with the territory when when when, when somebody wakes up and. The other person does not want to wake up, so it comes with the territory. Um, so this was that situation that he wanted her back. Uh, uh, he he just wanted to be uh, in in a part of his his his, his, uh, his daughter's life. Con con, and I okay. I think the, the the boyfriend was actually trying to fight him, and as they you know were, were fighting, it ended up in the house because he's trying to get his daughter. At the same time, so yeah, it, uh, that's uh, how and, it ended up in the house, and that's how it ended up in the house. So it was not a situation that this was uh, news in like the, the, the news was the reporting. Officers are on the scene of a fatal stabbing. It happened around 8:30 at the Brook Bend Apartments on Fondra near West Airport. Our Tim Wetzel is on the scene. Tim, what do you know? Well, police were originally called here for a fight. Then they learned that this was much, much worse situation. You can see a very active police scene going on behind me. A few minutes ago, we watched as they put a man in handcuffs. We do have a v- some video of that. Uh, it's not clear at this point if he is a suspect or just someone they are talking to. What we're hearing right now is that this was some sort of domestic dispute. An ex-boyfriend, uh, we're told by police, was trying to get into his ex-girlfriend's apartment. In that process, he was stabbed. We don't know who stabbed and who in the apartment did that. His friends dropped him off at a hospital where he later died, and that's when police got here sort of at the tail end of all this. They are now talking to several witnesses, and they're trying to piece this all together. Neighbors in this area are very concerned. They're tired of the violence here. We spoke to one of them a few minutes ago. Here's what she had to say. Every time you look up, we're hearing the sirens, police coming back and forth because of people can't get along. You know, I just wish that it would all stop, you know. And police have not yet identified the victim, but we're told he was taken to the hospital by friends where he later died. Of course, we're waiting for more information. As we get more details, we'll let you know. And now we're live here in Southwest Houston. Tim Wetzel. It was nothing like that uh, from your perspective. No, it was nothing like that at all. Nothing like that at all. He always gets joy. Like, I've seen him just get joy and leave. And he just be he just be happy. He'll never say anything about his baby mother at all. Nothing, ever. Right. And uh, yeah. he'd just, he just be happy to have his daughter. Now, uh, from your perspective, so what happened that night? You 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 taking him to the hospital. He he asked you to pray for him. You did. You uh, then he 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 left. The, 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 you know the the living. Uh, clearly, you know he did. He he's in a better place because he did the right thing. He he was baptized. He was doing the work. Okay, so he's definitely in Abraham's bosom. So uh, uh, he's in a good place, in a better place than we are. Uh, so tell me, run me through from the perspective of you, you, you went into, you, you did you made it to the hospital? Uh, what, what, what was the next step? What, what, what you did after? Well, the next step is uh, I, I get to get him to the hospital. 
first off, uh, when I'm driving, it's just it's 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 one of the most painful situations I had to go through because I know he's he's passed already in my car. I've yeah. seen him I've seen him take his last breath. So, but in my mind, I'm thinking he's still gonna make it. Yeah. You know, just 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 hope, just hoping he's still gonna make it. So I'm driving him and uh, I get him to the hospital and I run I run in there. Well, first off, I run to the ambulance and uh, I tell them, I said, man, can you help me? I, my friend, he's dying. And they said, well, you got to go into the ambulance. You got to go into the hospital because we already got somebody right here. So that was that yeah. enraged me right there. But I was like, okay, you know, let me just move on. So I run into the run into the emergency room and I say, can you uh, can you help me? My friend is dying. And they're gonna go and say, uh, yeah, cause, uh, can somebody bring the wheelchair outside? And I'm like, I look at him like with a distraught look on my face. I'm like, are, are y'all stupid? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like he, my friend is dying right now. You don't need a you don't need a wheelchair. He needs a stretcher. You need a mm-hmm. and then so they bring the wheelchair outside. I'm like whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just come and get him. And they as soon as they get to the car, they see like oh he's not breathing, and then they want to go get the stretcher. Mm-hmm. That just takes mm-hmm. time. And then when the, when the stretcher gets there, I uh you know because they see a black man, they don't want to just too much put they they all into it. First off, yeah. so I mean. You know, so I mean, I, I open the door and I, me and Henry have to pick the brother up because there's all women around. So mm-hmm. me and Henry had to pick the brother up and set him on the stretcher, and then they took him uh, to where they took him to, and I was following them. They was asking me a, a bunch of questions, and uh, and then they asked me. They 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 waited for a minute, and they come in, and I'm I actually I'm actually seeing them trying to resuscitate him, and they told me, uh, yeah, well you need to call, you need to call uh, his family. And right then I knew he was just when they say that it's like, you know, that means mm-hmm. that you know he's not gonna make it. Mm-hmm. And uh, so they had him, uh, had him on the you know the, the breather, and they had his heart like they said his heart was faintly beating, beating faintly, but the fact that them them electrical surgeons and uh, them uh, the eternal bleeding because he had over he was diagnosed with over ten stab wounds, he was bleeding too much internally inside of his body. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, you know, so they took us in the room, and then a few of the brothers got there. A few of me, uh, it was me, Henry, Kodam. Uh, he got there. He was the first brother to get there, and then a, a couple of other brothers got there, and a couple of sisters came through. Kodam's rib and uh, Lisa, and then his brother, his brother came, and uh, it was just, you know, everybody was just in tears. You know, they just, everybody was just real shocked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know this is this is a tragedy that it 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 shouldn't have happened, and I'm trying to make sense of it all, and and how it it could have escalated to this this to this level. I mean, uh, and what happened next when when the police was involved and and that they, oh. uh, what, what what in regards to that, uh, what happened? My okay, sense, uh, the, the, the police questioned you? Yes, the, the police the detectives actually came in there. The police questioned me, and then the detectives came. Uh, it was a, a woman and a man. They came in, and they took me, me and Henry, the brother Henry, downtown. And they uh, questioned us, and they asked, they said, what happened? And I told them exactly what I'm telling you. And, uh, you know, the, the, the detective, the woman, she actually, she actually was in tears when I told her. You know, because I was telling her about, you know, we was doing the work of the, of the Most High, and, you know, we was teaching, and I pulled, I had the brother's backpack on me, and I pulled out the flyers that we had in our backpack and all the books he had in his, in his bag. And so she knew I wasn't lying about it. Mm-hmm. And uh, and she was in tears herself, and she was actually, she told me, she said, I, I believe you. You know, and uh, and she said that, you know, maybe, she said, even if, you know, they said that he broke in once, maybe twice, you stab somebody, but over ten times you're deliberately trying to kill kill somebody, and also you have a taser. You don't need no other weapon. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. and it, and and it, and it doesn't make sense that you know you're tasing a man. He he's immobilized. He can't even move to go outside the door. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I mean, you're stabbing this man when he's immobilized. It's like it's like you were intentionally trying to take this man. And life because you had anger towards this man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, uh, so it, she, it, it, she, so 
yeah, it doesn't make sense. I, I, I don't get it why it would have been it, 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 it needed to escalate to this level. Uh, it, it's it's um, I'm in shock. I mean, what you know, just to the, the the level of violence that this man went through. It's it, it, you're in the world, you know. You're not part of the world, but you're in the world. So I know we got other people from Texas. I know, uh, Brother Gaja, maybe we could stop bringing them in and they could just talk about, you know, today is, is a tribute. It's about this brother, uh, Tawab, a good brother, been with the church for a long time. Elder Ricard actually uh, uh, named the brother himself, gave them the Hebrew name. Uh, and and it's, 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 I remember that meeting that we had and the brother, Elder Ricard asked him, you know, brother, how long you been with the church? Like, you know, it's time for you to get a Hebrew name. So the, the, the elder gave them that name. So that was, that, that was a blessing. So, uh, Brother Gadja, maybe we could bring in some other brothers and sisters from Texas that could, you know, kind of um, share their thoughts and everything that's happened these last few days. Okay, man. Uh, well, you know, you know, brothers, man, I'm, I'm, I'm here listening to the show and I'm, I'm shocked, I'm sad, I'm angry. You understand me? My heart goes out <laughs> to the family. My heart goes out to my brother, Manatazap, out there, man. All the brothers, them out there who, you know, who actually going through this right now. You know, I mean, it, it, you know, what can you say? You know, what you know, what is there to say about such a tragic and senseless you know, demise of a brother who doing the work, man. I mean, I mean, you know, if man was, if man was on the road selling drugs or man was out there looking to cause, you know, dealing with things, you know, but man out there preaching the word, man out there street preaching, the Sabbath day. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, Right now, right now, it, it, it caught me on a level because, you know, we were out street preaching on the Sabbath day, man, and, you know, this this it, the, the, the situation between men and women and children, it's a universal situation. We deal with it daily here. You understand me? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, to what end? To what end is this? To what end we're going to be, you know, to what end? And like you said, Either which way this thing pan out, the person that that hurts the most here is this six year old child mm-hmm. who who will be without mommy or daddy or mommy and daddy. You understand me? Now mm-hmm. the brother, the brother, the brother, the, you know, it's a sister and a brother who, as he said, looking to go jail. Another Israelite in the that's gonna get lost in the system. Mm-hmm. You know, when will we come out of this? When will we stop this? When will we wake up? It's like life don't mean nothing. It's like life have no more value. Huh? When? Tell you, man. Brother Amir, man, I don't, yo. Yo, let's just go to the next call, man. Let's go to the next call. Okay. Uh, so I think we have uh, from Texas, uh, Ty, brother Ty from Texas, three, I mean eight three two. You on the air, brother Ty? You on the air? Eight eight two. You on the air, Texas? Hello. Hello. You on the air, brother? This is uh, Deacon Pine. Hey, Pine. Okay, my 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 my. Uh, they put here. Uh, they mis they misspelled your name. They put Ty. Okay. okay. Shalom, brother. How we how we doing tonight, brother? How we doing tonight? Hey, Shalom. We 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 blessed regardless. We 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 are totally blessed tonight. Uh, you know, I want to do this, man. I, I want to say that, you know, in lieu of this tragedy, you know, I want to speak about the brother kindly because I was totally impressed with this brother these past couple of months. You know what I mean? 
Mm-hmm. It, uh, from the moment from the moment that he got his seat.